fin. Oh. Wait, didn't I see this picture before? But it feels different. With a forlorn expression, Britta Berman stared at the picture in his pendant. He was shown there, although younger, with a woman and a little girl. I don't think he is shown there. I only see two people. Whatever. Hey, are you that little girl? Were you a little girl before being a little boy? Sheena, shut the f*** up. They seem like gentle people. Where are they now? They're dead. Oh. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Berman joke. <laughs> I don't... That wasn't really funny. Are... The Bermans always have really bad jokes. Shut up, Sheena. We were separated when I went to boot camp. I lost track of them since. Because of my father's betrayal. They were persecuted by the whole country, and had a difficult life. If only they could have escaped to another country and changed their names, maybe it wouldn't have been so hard for them. Nodding resolutely. That's hmm, an odd way to put it. Britta Berman closed the pendant. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Greetings and welcome to Fuga Melodies of Steel. We're still playing the first game, but this will probably be the... Uh, excuse me, last session. I don't have any EP to do anything. Because I did everything in the background. Uh, there's... One last thing we need to do. Before we can more or less say we've 100%ed this game. And that is to take on Britta Berman yet again. Uh... I'm sure you saw it into the lead up before we started this actual session. And that was uh, Brits you know, reflecting on his family. And now he's betrayed us, so to speak. And we're going to go fight him. Halfway through the cave, a Berman take appeared to block their way. The engine was quiet, almost as though it was waiting for the Tyrannus. In this impressive silence, a familiar rose from the tank, a voice they knew so well. Ah, took you long enough. Shut up, boy. We won't fight. Alright. I think all we have to do is just fight him. And then somewhere... Uh, Soul Can is unavailable? Yeah, cool, great. You know, halfway through the fight, he's gonna... Stop fighting us. Alright, Brits. Last time I let you try to beat me, it didn't work out. And I can't really do anything with you right now. Um, who do I have lined up? We have Malt, Hana. Um, do we really need Hana at the moment? Hana's not really going to help us, so we'll just... Uh, yeah, this will just be Kyle, Halt, and Mana. Halt? Malt. Whatever. I technically can't really do... Uh, well, I guess I can use piercing ammo. I got a bunch of that. Let's see. Ah! Uh, we didn't need Cal anyways. So... Where's my ammo? Piercing ammo. There we go. Should this count towards the end? Oh, it does. Good. And uh, we'll just use piercing ammo again. It has reasons. I swear, if you delay Kyle again, I'm gonna be pissed. No, oh, he didn't. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Of course, Tyrannus. Tyrannus is moving slow. Just as Tyrannus says. And Tyrannus does. Girl, why don't you shut up and actually help me? You're the AI of the machine. I don't see why you're complaining. 
do your job and be, you know, artificial intelligence. Be smart. Nice shot. Yeah. You got rid of your armor, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I probably should bring in another uh, machine gunner. But, I don't know. The trademark copyrighted not sponsored music is kicking in hard. For reasons unknown. So you're down. You're taking damage. Man, he's taking a lot of damage. I was super prepared for this fight. Oh, that was really bad on your end. Okay, so he's got uh, rage going on. I guess that means Kyle's not going to be all that helpful, so... Uh, we'll use a great repair kit. Just because... I mean, he's going to heal us, but... He's not going to heal us by much. Now, one more hit and you're done for. Now. Yep, game over. And after all that, we still got trademark copyright not sponsored Jingle Jingles. And we got Affinity too. Cool. The hatch open to reveal Brits. I knew I couldn't only stop you for a short while, but you guys are pretty amazing. Yeah, and? Shocked, the children asked what Brits was doing there. Ah, here we go, something new! Why did you have to fight us? Aren't we supposed to be friends? Uh, I may be furry, but I will never be your friend. Excuse me, what? Remember that letter I found in that wrecked Berman tank? It was a coded message. We found your mother and sister. If you don't do as we say, we can't guarantee their safety. That's why after the fight with that Tarascus, I snuck out and rejoined the Berman. The children told Brits that they rescued his mother and sister at the camp in the Volcanic Lands. Did we know? I don't remember that being a thing. Brits, please listen. Your mother and sister were among the prisoners we freed. We saved them all. Yeah, they're trying to pull your leg. That can't be. Hax said he was holding my mother and sister captive. Hax is lying. What'd you think? He's a military general. Of course he's gonna lie to try and get you to fight on his side so that way he can use you. I mean, granted, not all of them do that, but he's the one that's attacking Gasco. He is the enemy. And usually the enemy will do whatever it takes to win the war. So, yeah, you're just dumb. That my cooperation would guarantee their safety. Your mother brought your sister to Gasco to protect her from Berman. That was already two years ago. Wow. Two years. Wait, so they've been there for two years and no one tried to contact Brits? No one tried to tell him that, you know, his family is safe? That's kind of messed up that they wouldn't do that. I mean, I guess they probably thought he was executed along with his father, but... That, I would say that's a little stupid and irrelevant. You know, you'd think a mother would know better and try to actually do all that she can to help all of her children, or whatever. They were sorry and crying because they left you. There was no other choice. That means there's no need to worry about your mom and sister anymore. Aw. Ah! He's got cherry juice on him! How is that possible? Unless that's oil from the tank when it exploded, but who knows. What? Are you telling the truth? I mean... They could also just be lying. You never know. But that seems, you know, wildly unnecessary. For them to be lying all together all at once in the exact same way. Other than to conspire against you for no reason. Which I don't think they actually have a reason to do so. Then they're safe. They... The Berman tricked me. Dang it. Yeah, you probably should watch your mouth there. In a brief display of anger, Brit slammed his fist into the tank. 
um, his right fist because I'm pretty sure his left is uh, not doing too well. I'm pretty sure that would hurt more for him to do that with either fist actually because it's a tank. You know, it's an 80 ton war machine. Probably shouldn't be throwing your fist at it. I don't think that would work in any capacity. You wouldn't even scratch it, much less dent it. Getting his composure, he spoke feebly to the children. Ah, feeble-minded feeblies. They may have deceived me, but I betrayed you. I can't be with you anymore. Go. Children met him with broad smiles. Him who? Quit playing the pronoun game. Hey. Shout out, narrator. What? We're gonna... Oh, where do you get clue? We're down a man and could use your help. I don't think you said that right there, uh, Kyle. Shut up. Brits! Your mom and sister were fine, so let's go see them together. Your mom and sister were worried about you. I was too. I hope you'll come with us again. Let's go, Brits. Shall we go together? <laughs> I have nothing to say, but I'm gonna laugh about it. We stick together no matter what. Also, what? What are you talking about, Bart? Hey, can we go now? Yeah, shouldn't keep the ladies waiting. If we get done, we can't. Uh, if we get done, if we get done, hmm. I actually think Jin's line is not correct. If we get done, we have to pay it back. Huh? Screw it. Jin just didn't talk. We're, we're not going to even bother trying to comprehend that. Jin did not say a thing because none of that made any sense. What are you throwing? I drag you. I'm not joking. You guys. Wait, what did Jin say? I didn't say anything. Oh. Right. I'm really sorry. It seems like I'm in your debt again. I don't know if I can ever repay you, but let's finish this. Together. Welcome back, Brits. Uh, were you lonely without me? <laughs> I bet you were. I missed you too. Let's hurry back once we finish this. Oh, that was a new jingle jangle. Brits joined the crew. It should say again. Brits joined the crew again. Ah, soon, Vagarkin. Soon. Ah, yes. That, now we have to play out the whole story of getting to the Benargand in order to uh, see what the outcome is. So, skip! Ah, there's the giant monster again. Tetranus arrived at the outskirts of Parisia, but the face of the capital seemed to have changed drastically. Yeah, it became a giant monster. I wouldn't think that it would, uh, be that way all the time. But whatever. Waiting from its slumber deep beneath the earth, the Venargan emerged, lifting the surrounding land with it to form an immense mountain. Uh, it just became a giant turtle again. At the base of the mountain formed what looked like lakes and other appendages of the Venargan. Ah, this is the point where we do some shenanigans and, uh, basically get this thing... That was loud like it was the last time. That's annoying. But yeah, we're basically just gonna do the ridiculous thing of making this 800 ton war machine that is two, three stories tall, uh, apparently drive at mock speed to have it launch itself up the leg of this giant behemoth that has just appeared out of nowhere that has uneven terrain surface to even walk on, much less drive on. I have to fight that? It's like a mountain! Ugh, it's so big! That's what she said, Hack. That's kinda messed up, but okay! Before the Venarkin can fully stand, you can get inside Parisa by climbing up its front leg. Really, Ginny? For an AI, that's not very smart. But okay. Alright, here we go, everybody. Hold on! Go, go, go! I 
mean, I guess, bruh, it's saying stationary enough as it's, you know, appearing, as it's growing from the ground, that it allows us to climb up it, but I still call bow hockey on that. I will always forever call bow hockey. I managed to get in, but what now? The Tyrannus was damaged, <laughs> or wasn't damaged by that, right? I mean, it could have been damaged, but you never know. If I'm being honest, I don't know, uh, or I didn't think we would make it. On the way to Parisia, Jenny explained her strategy for the upcoming battle. Now, skip! Okay, finally made it to the intermission, and it's just before the boss battle. So we're going to finally do one last setup, and we're going to take on the Tarascus. Apparently a lot of people need to talk to a lot of people. But, I specifically want to upgrade the cannon, because it's the last thing that I can upgrade. Well, I can still technically upgrade the other stuff, but I want it upgraded because then it'll be full 20 for all my stuff. Uh, who is at the lowest level? Kyle. May. I don't really care about the twins at the moment. So, Kyle and May. Let's grab Kyle. Workshop. Cannon. Upgrade. Yes. Cool. Kyle leveled up. Which now means we're going to be May. Uh, I don't think there's anything that we really need or want. Cannot be maxed any further. Perfect. Cannons are at max level. There's nothing more we can do except cook. Alright. So, I want to basically try and do everything. A fruit tart. We got reasons. Even though I don't really need experience. But I want to make it for the sake of making it. Now ah, the food was spoiled! Do it again. Don't you hate that when you're making hamburgers and then all of a sudden... Ah, the buns have green on them. Alright, so let's see. Injury resistance or luck in Link Gauge feels faster? I think I'd rather the injury resistance. Because you never know what hacks will, you know, pull out of his hat other than more hacks. Uh, I don't want to deal with more hacks. At least with injury resistance, we'll be able to stay in the fight longer. We won't need to farm. So, I don't know why I'm bothering grabbing the items. So, we have 6 AP left. Uh, hmm. Not exactly sure what to do with that. Hmm. Nothing up top. I guess I can just start throwing affinity in random places. Who needs more affinity? He may need more affinity with Jin. Let's go find Jin. Although I guess the twins would be better set. Hmm. Yeah, let's talk to the twins. The three-year-old will talk to the four-year-olds, because reasons. And then the four-year-olds will look down at the three-year-old because it's one year old, you know, younger, because also reasons. Chance to deepen bond. There's a ghost behind me. Ah. There's one behind you too. <laughs> oh, there's one behind you too. <laughs> oh wow, 
That did a lot. <laughs> My gosh. That moved straight into a link event. Alright, I guess we're setting the stage then. Hack! Hack! Stop using hacks, you cheater. What? Playing pranks is bad, right? Is it fun to do bad things? I mean, a bad person would tell you yes, and a good person would tell you to shut up and get out of the office. What? Yeah, that's fun, but I wouldn't call it bad. But Grandma and Grandpa, even Mal told me not to do it. That's because they're old and curmudgeons and, you know, they're just kind of lame. Oh, I didn't realize there could be such a thing as lame. Yeah, that's just what old people are. They're good and bad pranks, though. Oh, really? You know so much. You're wise behind your ears. What? Uh, of course I do. Nobody knows more about pranks than me. You're a prank teacher. Uh... I'm actually confused at that, but okay. Teacher? <clears throat> that might be a good way to put it. Wow, can you teach me how to be a good pranks? Uh... First, you're gonna have to fix your sentence. No. Sure, I can. <laughs> yeah, great. We're gonna have the three-year-old do pranks and not understand that uh, throwing utensils at people is not a safe thing to do, and she won't know better because she's three years old. Yeah, time to do some parenting. Oh, gonna deepen bond. Hey, did you know the Tyrannus is haunted with ghosts? Seriously? The other one just said that there was a ghost behind me. <laughs> Maybe the doctor, your soul, really? Such a thing as a ghost? Maybe the doctor, your soul! Ah, but I didn't feel it that much. <laughs> Everyone will slay them? That's funny. Alright. Time for a link event. And with my last AP sent bent, I'm gonna go into a. Uh... I'm gonna go get all the other children and see if I can get them to have their own little setting the stage events. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Wanna chat? Yeah, sure, let's. Ah. Uh, I need to get some pink nail polish, some uh, hair dye. Maybe some gel for my hair. What products do you recommend? You do realize we're at war, right? Oh, I kind of forgot. What do you want to talk about? Maybe talk about brothers or something? Hmm. Girls talking about boys. That's probably not the road a three-year-old should go down. I think this conversation needs to end. Okay, let's talk about Hack. Let's not. Yeah, about Ma. He's always helped Grandma and Grandpa. I did too. Oh, that's great. I helped around the house too, but Hack was always pulling pranks. Ah, boys are so dumb. Shut up, May. He's such a kid. Says the three-year-old to the four-year-old. Wow. Also, you're all kids. Like, what kind of statement is that? Whatever. Boys never seem to grow up. Ah, chick gets it. Men will forever be boys. Wait, that's not right. That's what Mom always said. Huh? They don't get big? They're always kids? <laughs> I know. Uh, the three-year-old can't comprehend what they <laughs> what they mean by that. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, come on, May. I mean, granted, you are three years old, but that's just <laughs> that's just ridiculous. Like, yeah, they're growing bigger, but mentality-wise. Uh, they will never be men. Not that they get bigger, but they still act like kids. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. It's annoying, it's what it is. Men will forever be stupid because they will always be children. Alright, Barn, what do you got for me? It's the last moment we got together. Might as well spend it setting the stage and talking about nonsense. Hey, Bolt. 
Do you have a minute? No. Oh. But I thought we were supposed to have moments together. Not like that kind of moment. Get your mind out of the gutter, Barn. What? Well, also at the same time, you know. That was what the narrator said. That's not what we're actually doing in this moment, in our actuality. What? Sure, I always have time to talk. Uh, not really advice, but uh, I was wondering, do you think we'd really be able to go back home? No, oh, so you don't need advice, but rather a pep talk? Yeah, I guess. I'd really like to help, but I don't think there's much I can say to ease your anxiety. That's more Hana's thing, because, you know, she's the the motherly figure, apparently, of the group, for some dumb reason. Well, you're just a lazy father. Shut up, voice in my head. Yeah, you really are just a lazy father. Shut up, Baron. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, think for a while. I'm the oldest, after all. Eh, don't think too long. You'll end up having gray hair. At the age of 20. What? No, yeah, alright. You're really something, Malt. Thanks. He didn't really say anything. That conversation was not necessary. If anything, it just proves that I'm right, that Malt's a dumb. Come on. No one needs to talk to Hana. No one needs to talk to the city boy. Uh, chin and socks. Okay. That's an interesting one. Jin, I admire you so much. That sounds kind of weird. Uh, well, I didn't mean it like that. What's the deal all of a sudden? It's so weird. I am quite fond of machines as well, although I do not have much opportunity to hand them with my own paws. All I have is knowledge. Books. And four eyes. And knowledge. You already said that. What? And I don't think you're really all that smart if you're going to repeat your line. Huh? Right about that. There's all sorts of things you can't learn without using it. Using what? You know. It. Oh. You're talking about the girls. No, not... Boy, don't make me smack you with my wrench. Precisely. Also, what do you mean by a wrench? No. D you really need to get your mind out of the gutter at that point. Properly maintained machines should theoretically work fine, but issues could emerge when we actually use them. I've heard that a lot. And also, you know, that's the point of being a mechanic is to, you know, circumvent that. Wait, what? Ah, oh, never mind. I thought smart people were supposed to actually be smart. Uh, common sense just doesn't fly with them, I guess. I heard that. I need more experience. You're gonna have to go out and uh, destroy some tanks then. Because, you know, that's how this game works. Destroy tanks, get experience. You know, work on something. Wait, this is a game? Uh... I would very much like to study under you, Jin. Oh, I really hope that doesn't, you know, imply what it sounds like. Okay, well now you're the one who needs to get his mind out of the gutter. It may be a major drag, but given our current situation, it might be important for us, or for our survival. But also important for us to uh, not talk about this ever again. What? Don't get in my way, alright? Thank you. Alright. This may need to talk to anybody. No. Check. Nope. Hack. Nope. Sheena. Oh, Sheena wants to talk to Brits. Uh, we'll check in with Jin and Wampa first. Neither of them. And then Brits specifically. Just needs to talk to Sheena. All right. Link event. Time to set the final stage. 
Do you mind if I ask you about your family in the prison camp? No. And yes, I do mind. Uh, okay, that... Oh, Excuse me, what? Oh, okay. I know your mom and sister are prisoners, but I don't know anything about your father. My father, when the Burman came to take us away, he resisted and was killed. I see. He was trying to protect his family. It was very brave of him. He's different from my father, who died leaving this disgrace on my family. But he must have had his reasons, didn't he? It must take a lot to betray your own country. I heard he gave Gasco the chance to prepare for a Burman strike, though. But I can't say if it was right or wrong when I think about the treatment my family had suffered. Yes, but... If your father didn't give that information to Gasco, maybe there wouldn't be a Gasco anymore. Well, I mean, not necessarily. Like, he may have tried to warn them in advance, but he didn't advance that enough. Because the Burman army still trampled over the lands, got so far in that they were all the way to the west side of the capital, of the continent, and... They were basically uncontested. They just strolled over all the cities in between. All the way to the west side. Before the army finally decided to mobilize. And somehow nobody warned them. That I would say that, you know, he didn't do enough. But he did more than enough than the regular Gasco army actually did. Because they should have seen that coming. They should have known that, oh... The tanks just took out the main capital of Gasco. We should probably send our soldiers there and stop them. But nope. They just waited until a bunch of children decided to use a three-story tall 800-ton war machine and obliterated one of their own tanks. Great job. Bunch of idiots. You're probably right. Also, uh, what was that? Did you say something? No, that was the narrator. And then we just ended that conversation. Seriously, what is the Gasco army doing? For them to just sit there and wait until more than 90% of their country has been taken over by the Burmans. Like, they're actual stupid. Alright, time to go into battle. I mean, America gets pissed off when just a 0.001% of, you know, part of their country is even vaguely threatened by another country. I can't imagine how they would react if suddenly 90% of the states were just occupied by enemy forces. They would absolutely have a fit. And whoever did it would just be obliterated at that point. That's just unacceptable. You do not let another country show up and take over 90% of your you know, territory. The Tyrannus came upon a wide open space inside the Venargand. Ah. Oh. It's the Metal Heart. Rather beyond where the Tarascus had fused with the Venargand. Is that the Tarascus? Frightening and sister, it looks. It appears it have merged with the Venargan. We have to destroy it. That's it. Steer devil. How do you dare step inside God's heart? I am not one with the legendary lost God. That battle between God and the devil has not yet been settled. This time will be different. This time, I will create a new legend. Axe's voice reverberated from every direction as though he and the Vernargand were one. You're mean! You destroyed our village! I will not forgive you for bringing war to this country! My father will still be alive if it weren't for you. And with that, I will never forgive you. But a sad version of a man. 
manipulated by my words. I mean, that's your fault, Jenny. Like, why couldn't you just had shut up entirely? Why did you have to talk at all? That's kind of on you. You're the whole reason why everybody's in this mess. I can't wait to slap you in the face when the sequel, you know, when I finally get around to playing the sequel. I was going to say when the sequel comes out, but yeah, it already is. Uh, I'm just slow to get into it. He truly thought he could become a god. Please, you must free him from his insanity. Uh, I need to free you from our insanity because I don't want you around anymore. Friggin' AI doesn't know how to eye properly. Alright. Hmm. Well, last time we fought you, we let you take out our health and use the, uh, the soul cannon, which was apparently a no-no. So we don't want to do that. So we'll just uh, make sure you can't use your soul cannon. Skills. Uh, smoke. Smoke won't do anything. Can I use white grenade? Oh, uh, that's not going to do anything either. Well, then we'll just uh, smoke zone to... Aw, oh, dang it. I was going to hope to hit both sides and actually do something about it, but nope. Just going to have to do that. Let's see, link attack. Delay all enemies. Yes. Might as well delay them now. Get an extra chance to do damage. Skills. Piercing shot. Gonna rip through their armor. Grenade launcher. Ah, you thought that was damage? You thought wrong. Skills, triple strike. Because even though it does theoretically less than the main cannon for a shot, as a whole it'll actually do more damage. But I don't like the fact that it wastes 9 SP to do it. Like, it could probably do better without wasting that much SP. But whatever. Unable to use the Magnum. Oh well. You weren't uh, good enough to be Clint Eastwood anyways. So let's see. Can't hit the Magnum. So I'm just... and I can't really smoke him, so it doesn't really work. I can at least try to electrocute him. That didn't work. Triple strike. Grenade launcher mode. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really help you, but whatever. Ah, I can smoke you now, though. And I will do just that. Ah, it didn't work. Brit speed. Skills. Smoke grenade. I will do everything I can to do status ailment effects on you. Because I want you gone. Brit Spear. I have so much health and so much SP, it's unreal. Oh yeah, that's right, you're gonna call backup. I forgot you could do that. And I hate it. Spear Apparition. Right? Oh, that's... Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that. That's not good if one of those spheres is gonna... You know... Do full health... On the main body. After all the damage that it's put on it, but no. Look at those other things. Skills. Uh... Hmm. Piercing shot. I need to get rid of the magnum. Ah, normal attacks do double damage, do they? Take double damage. Ha, you missed, stupid. Link attack. Gain some SP. That was a lot of SP to recover. Boy, you absolutely got wrecked. If 
Fire the cannon. Slow the magnum down. Oh, he's gone into main cannon mode. I need to get Brits out here. But you know what? I also want to smoke. Because you absolutely need to stop being able to see me. Thank you. I can't let you look at me. That's disturbing. It's going to make me give you a restraining order for that. Makes me feel uncomfortable. I might even find it offensive. Uh, let's see, chance to inflict smoke. Well, I don't need that. I need a ballad. So that took way too much damage there. Skills, piercing shaft. There we go. And now you're going to take all the damage. And get delayed. Well, it seems as though you're screwed now. Brit Spear. I didn't do anything. Uh, white grenade. Since you're already blinded. I didn't do anything. I win! I barely did anything. We we're so powerful. Everyone leveled up. And more affinity was gained. Good! It's the devil! That's what not to admit defeat! I mean, it's already too late. Basically, game over. I cannot die! I am a god! By my divine judgment, I will seal the devil! No. He's activated the Rana Garden to obliterate the entire country! Oh. We swear on our tails, we'll never give up. Fire the soul- Wow, I actually have an option. Fire the soul cannon, or swear on our tails that- but, I mean, I do have a bait doll, don't I? Since I reset the game, and the only time I ever used the bait doll was, uh, when I shot him. And that's all, you know, during this chapter. So, since we reverted back to the old chapter, eh, I'll just say we're not going to give up. Jenny addressed the children in a serious tone. There is nothing we can do to stop the Tarascus now, except... Before she could speak, the children answered with total conviction. I'm the oldest. I'll never back down. That's right! Me too! Yes, there must be a way. You got that right. We've been through worse than this. We're gonna make it out of this together. Go home and eat so much, my belly's hurt. It sounds wonderful. I'll make some decisive drinks or digest <laughs> digestive drinks for everyone. Bruh, seriously, what? That tripped me so hard because, you know, think about it. The only drink you can have to digest, you know, something that's digestible, you know, something that's actually edible, more or less. So I would think that saying digestive drinks would uh, be absolutely redundant because if they weren't digestive well then why would you drink it? That's painful. That's harmful. You're an idiot, Sox. My gosh. He really doesn't have common sense in any capacity. Ugh. Man has 200 IQ and acts like he's got absolutely no brain cells whatsoever. I'll get everything I got. Oh yeah? Then I'll do everything more than you. Yes, we've come so far to get here. Yeah, right. It's too soon to see Dad just yet. Wait, Wapa's our leader? Did I miss something? <laughs> of course. Prince, don't mess up my frau. Regardless of the situation, the children wholeheartedly burst out in laughter. My children. They're not your children, Jenny. Get the frick out of here. Stop being a tank. You're being annoying. You're being stupid. You're being a bit. You've become so strong. 
Perhaps there is still something more I can do. Checking all parts of the Tyrannus. Well, well. Did something happened. Inspecting the Tyrannus. Jenny grasped. Ah, huh, dumbfounded. She gasped, dumbfounded. How would she be gasps though? She's an AI. She doesn't have lungs. But then I guess you'd question how she'd be talking. But you know, machines talk all the time in binary. So she she binary gasped. She spoke zero one one zero one and then said two, and that freaked her out. What is this? The soul cannon is charging. There's never been this much energy before. It's charging on its own? The Tyrannus is transferring its energy into the cannon. Almost as though it's using its own life force. But why? That's because Jenny used a dumb. So use your own life. Well, that's kind of rude. That's because the Tyrannus won't give up either. Understood. Let's transfer the energy maintained the Tyrannus to the Soul Cannon. I cannot get up either, just like you children and the Tyrannus. Yes! Oh, so we're gonna fire the Soul Cannon anyways, but it's just not gonna require a sacrifice. So, not a sacrifice of one of us, necessarily. Wait, so if the Tyrannus uses its own energy, then that means it should shut down at this point. If it's that powerful of a cannon to take a life, to be able to use it, I would think that if the Tyrannus itself has decided to use its own life force to charge it, then that means that it's a, uh, it's gonna malfunction. It's gonna go uh, dead battery mode. Yeah. I always hate when iPhones go dead battery mode. Now ah, whatever. Charge complete. Soul cannon stand by. Fire when ready. Whoa. Nice. Alright, fire. Not ever become a god. Glory to the permanent empire. I expected an explosion. As a result of the Morgan's devastating attack, the continent shattered to create an archipelago. Yeah, of floating islands. Archipelago. Weird. The region of Parisia, where the Venargans stood, became its own floating island. Suddenly, a beam of light pierced through the Venargans' body. Explosions! Well, there goes Gasco. Like a puppet with its strings cut, the Nargan slowly lowered its massive body to the ground and broke apart. That's not usually how puppets work, but okay. One by one, the fragments of its body were swallowed by the sea of clouds and disappeared. Oh, this time it actually didn't destroy the continent. Weird. The trunk of its carcass came to rest upon what remained of Parisia. Disgusting. Deep inside the gaping hole where the beam of light pierced through its side came a dull metallic sound. Hmm. Interesting. Some hours later, aboard Berman airships, the Gasco army began to search the ruins of Parisia. Oh, so the ending that I got, the thing just straight up exploded. And then threw the Tarascus, or not the Tarascus, the Tyrannus, out onto a different floating continent. And that's basically game over, because you can't use the tank anymore. Which is weird. Why would it do it that way? But here, it doesn't actually explode. Look at this become of our beautiful land. It's hard to imagine that Parisia once stood here. Hmm? Well. It's the Tyrannus! And all the children! Looking beyond the shattered form of the Venargand, she saw a huge mass of steel. She who! Quit playing the pronoun game! We did it. We really did it. Of course we did. The battle is finally over. Now, Baron, there's a sequel. Wait, there's a sequel? 
Can we go home now? Can we? Can we? Yeah, let's go home. To mommy and daddy. Yeah. Right, how do you put that big body in that place, huh? Yeah. I still can't believe it, though. Let's hope this will be enough to bring peace back. <laughs> uh, it won't. What? Yes, it will. I'm sure of it. But both the capital and Gasco are left in ruins. I mean... I don't think it really matters as long as everyone got out of the capital. I'm pretty sure everyone left the capital before, uh... The whole situation with the Berman army actually unfolded when it came to reviving the Venargand. So, I don't think it really matters, Socks. Just because the city itself is destroyed doesn't mean that you can't just rebuild. Specifically right over where the old city was. Whatever. Yes, but we're still alive. Come on, Mal. I want to hurry back. Yeah, let's go. Hey, look. They're coming to get us. Are you sure about that, Malt? They could just be flying over and then assume that you're enemies and they'll probably just use an airstrike to take you out. I mean, they are using the blimps after all. Is that the giant tank? Wait, someone's waving. They're alive. The children. They've done it. What an astonishing little crew. Wave the flag. Make sure they know who we are. I mean... I don't think you need to. They're waving you down. I would think at that point they know that you're the allies. So there's no reason for you to wave a flag to signal to them that you're an ally. Especially since they're children. They don't know any kind of military lingo or signals or anything that has to do with fighting in general. Like They don't understand strategies. They don't understand your tactics. So waving a flag is not going to tell them that you're friendly. If anything, that might tell them that you're an enemy. You know, they're children after all. But whatever. Yes, sir! Those kids are tougher than our soldiers. They are the heroes who saved Gasco. No, the world. No words could ever express my gratitude. Except that I resign as general. You do that, General. Well, I didn't mean that literally. Uh, whatever. I'll be taking your place now. Yes, let's take them back to their precious families as quickly as possible. What those children now need more than anything is a peaceful life. Unless, of course, there's a sequel. In which case, uh... Gonna be on Earth. What? Without it leading... Uh, without its leading, General... The Burman Empire withdrew and later signed an armist armistice. Yeah. Could just say a truce. I'm pretty sure we had that problem the last time I read that, but okay. What was once Gasco now became an archipelago of floating islands, and the technology of the Burman airships aided their daily lives tremendously. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh Gasco was a floating continent for some odd reason. And now it's in pieces. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Despite the destruction of their land and the lingering scars from the war, the people of Gasco gradually moved towards the future. Oh. And there's the AI lady. Who, uh, is 100% human, apparently. And just for some odd reason has... Ears? Like a headband? I mean, I've seen weirder, but for the humans to make an AI program that has a headband specifically, that does nothing to aid her in any capacity, is kind of weird. Yeah, furries must have made her. Ugh. That means there's some kind of hidden programming that we're missing. Ugh. Anyways, behind the children waving at the approaching airships, Jenny nestled close to the Tyrannus and muttered. Ah, what a bunch of dumb furries. Excuse me? Thank you, my children. I have fulfilled my mission at last. It seems there may be hope in this new humanity. I wouldn't call them human, but okay. I would think they'd call themselves something else. Well... 
animated. Oh, sort of. With one last glance before quietly fading away, Jenny smiled affectionately at the children who had overcome so much. No, it's game over! But I mean, I did like, you know, 100% more or less, so. Ah! Trademark copyright not sponsored music! Ooh. The tank is once again back where it came from? Or would they just park the tank in a cave? I would think that they would, you know, tear it apart and or put it somewhere about 700 years later. 700? Excuse me? Yeah, I think that they would actually, like, put the tank in a museum. They would obviously strip it of its cannons, of course, and make sure it's not functional, but... Uh... You know, there's no reason to just put it back in a cave and just let it linger there, like they did the last time. You know, that's kind of how things started, more or less, by putting the tank in the cave and letting children find it. Probably not a good thing to just let it sit there, even if it's just going to grab rust and moss. Actually, how did it in, uh, how did it not get rust to begin with? I wasn't even functioning. Now ah, whatever. 700 years later, though. Well, I mean, obviously the children aren't alive anymore. Hooded man? Hmm. Several decades after awakening, I've seen much of this new world, but... Alas, this is no paradise. It's a... It's a tate. As a tate of one's desire, they fight amongst themselves, take and be taken from. The end result even laid waste to an entire continent, destroying the very land they need to survive. Um, is that a Gundam behind you? I just realized that's actually the foot slash leg of a robot. Me thinks that that's a Gundam. That's trademark copyrighted, not sponsored, wrong series for unfranchised hooded man. Also. You wearing black like that makes me think that you're part of Organization 13. That's also trademark copyright, not sponsored, technically. Wrong series, wrong franchise. Disney will have your head. You can't just be showing up in random games. Even in this new world, such foolishness is repeated as though reality is trapped in a perpetual cycle. And yeah, what are you going to do about it? For what purpose did humanity extinguish themselves only to give way to these new people? can't even fathom how precious each and every life is. Bro, why are you talking smack about them? You're not doing anything to help them. Uh, whatever. No. Well, I have lost both my name and the order. My only purpose... Yeah, he's, he's absolutely part of Organization 13. He's one of Xemnas' creations. Uh, Freck. He's another Xehanort. It is not fair for me to question their meaning of life. If they cannot change on their own, then I shall guide them along the right path. The order may be lost, but it is clear to me now what I must do. Explosion? No. After the destruction of the continent, the northern region of Gasco became a floating archipelago. It was later named Shepherd, in honor of a hero, a young moon sheep herder who led his friends to save the country. No. Oh. They couldn't call it Maldania? Maltanu? Montana? Idaho? Oh, whatever. New legends are born, leading way to countless untold adventures yet to come. Oh, but that is another story. Hmm. Congratulations, you have achieved your true purpose. Shut up, game. You need to buy my book. Link in the description below. 
can play again from the beginning, keeping all experiences, and aim to collect all the trophies. Keep all of your stats from the first playthrough. Get the upper hand on challenging enemies and attempt the more difficult battle routes in New Game Plus. Obtain link levels between the children. Okay. Make the Tyrannus as strong as it can be. I mean, I already technically have. I literally cannot upgrade the tank any further. I got 20 on all of the uh, cannons and also on life support and uh, the power supply. I've upgraded the kitchen, fishing, and farming areas. I found all of the shrines. Literally, the only thing to do is to just max out all the character levels and max out all their affinity with each other. Which, uh, that's kind of not necessary. We can do that some other time if, you know, an anniversary comes up that kind of requires us to play this game again. But regardless, yeah, nah. Not anytime soon. I want to get into Melodies of Steel 2. M O it's F M O S two. Yeah. FAMAS. I need to get into FAMAS. Knock all the gear icons. The gear icons on the main menu are unlocked by meeting certain conditions. Perhaps something will happen once they are all collected. Interesting. Save your progress? Absolutely. Cause I have to. Otherwise you're gonna tell me that I didn't. And that I didn't actually beat the game, and I'm gonna have to show proof of evidence. And you're gonna say, ha, you didn't, stupid. You know, whatever. Well, that was fun. That will be the end of today's session, and also the finale of Fuga Melodies of Steel first game. Now, for next week, we're gonna play Fuga Melodies of Steel 2. And figure out what's going on with 700 years later, even though I'm pretty sure that's not how it works when it comes to a sequel showing up with the same characters. So unless he somehow travels back in time and either brings them forward in time or uh, decides to help them out in the past, there's no reason for them to sequel bait a human showing up with a Gundam. So that's uh, making absolutely no sense, but whatever. So yeah, stay safe, take care, and we will see you in the next series.